On this video, we learn about past of Jupiter. So let's begin. Jupiter is most likely the oldest planet in the solar system. Current models of solar system formation suggest that Jupiter formed at or beyond the snow line, a distance from the early sun where the temperature is sufficiently cold for volatiles such as water to condense into solids. It first assembled a large solid core before, accumulating its gaseous atmosphere. As a consequence, the core must have formed before the solar nebula began to dissipate after 10 million years. Formation models suggest Jupiter grew to 20 times the mass of the Earth in under a million years. The orbiting mass created a gap in the disk, thereafter slowly increasing to 50 Earth masses in 3-4 million years. According to the Grand Attack, Hypothesis, Jupiter would have begun to form at a distance of roughly 3.5 astronomical units. As the young planet accreted mass, interaction with the gas disk orbiting the Sun and orbital resonances with Saturn caused it to migrate inward. This would have upset the orbits of what are believed to be super-Earths orbiting closer to the Sun, causing them to collide destructively. Saturn would later have begun to migrate inwards too, much faster than Jupiter, leading to the two planets becoming locked in a 3 to 2 mean motion resonance at approximately 1.5 astronomical units. This in turn would have changed the direction of migration, causing them to migrate away from the Sun and out of the inner system to their current locations. These migrations would have occurred over an 800,000 year time period, with all of this happening over a time period of up to 6 million years after Jupiter began to form. This departure would have allowed the formation of the inner planets from the rubble, including Earth. However, the formation timescales of terrestrial planets resulting from the Grand Tack hypothesis appear inconsistent with the measured terrestrial composition. Moreover, the likelihood that the outward migration actually occurred in the solar nebula is very low. In fact, some models predict the formation of Jupiter's analogs whose properties are close to those of the planet at the current epoch. Other models have Jupiter forming at distances much further out, such as 18 astronomical units. In fact, based on Jupiter's composition, researchers have made the case for an initial formation outside the molecular nitrogen, snow line, which is estimated at 20 to 30 astronomical units, and possibly even outside the Argonne snow line, which may be as far as 40 astronomical units. Having formed at one of these extreme distances, Jupiter would then have migrated inwards to its current location. This inward migration would have occurred over a roughly 700,000 year time period, an epoch approximately 2 to 3 million years after the planet began to form. Saturn. Uranus and Neptune would have formed even further out than Jupiter, and Saturn would also have migrated inwards. Let's talk about its mythology. The planet Jupiter has been known since ancient times. It is visible to the naked eye in the night sky and can occasionally be seen in the daytime when the sun is low. To the Babylonians, this object represented their god Marduk. They used Jupiter's roughly 12-year orbit along the ecliptic to define the constellations of their zodiac. The Romans called it the Star of Jupiter, Upper Stella, as they believed it to be sacred to the principal god of Roman mythology, whose name comes from the Proto-Indo-European vocative compound Diuter, meaning Father Sky God, or Father De God. In turn, Jupiter was the counterpart to the mythical, Greek Zeus, also referred to as Dias the planetary name of which is retained in modern Greek. The ancient Greeks knew the planet as Phaethon, meaning shining one or blazing star. As supreme god of the Roman pantheon, Jupiter was the god of thunder, lightning, and storms, and appropriately called the god of light and sky. The astronomical symbol for the planet, Jupiter symbol SVG, is a stylized representation of the god's lightning bolt. The original Greek deity Zeus supplies the root Zeno, used to form some Jupiter-related words, such as xenographic. Jovian is the adjectival form of Jupiter. The older adjectival form jovial, employed by astrologers in the Middle Ages, has come to mean happy or merry, moods ascribed to Jupiter's astrological influence. In Germanic mythology, Jupiter is equated to Thor, whence the English name Thursday for the Roman dies Jovis. In Vedic astrology, 
Hindu astrologers named the planet after Brihaspati, the religious teacher of the gods, and often called it Guru, which literally means the heavy one. In Central Asian Turkic myths, Jupiter is called Ren Diz or Rentus, from Ren many theories about the meaning of Ren. These, peoples calculated the period of the orbit of Jupiter as 11 years and 300 days. They believed that some social and natural events connected to Renus's movements on the sky. The Chinese, Vietnamese, Koreans, and Japanese called it the Wood Star, Chinese, semicolon pinyin, nuxing, based on the Chinese five elements. The NASA missions done on Jupiter